you know, in, with working with Coldwell Banker, I've done a lot of training for them in different seminars and been to a lot of seminars, as a matter of fact, for new hires and, and new agent development. And if I really had to break it down into really four key components, if I was a new agent that I would really spend my time honing and, and really making stronger is number one, my communication skills. So, and what I mean by that is, you know, we all talk and we all say hello and all that stuff, but communication in relationship to lead conversion is really important. So when people are on the phone, number one, when they call you, pick up your phone. Don't make it go to voicemail because you're sitting having a cocktail or you're having dinner. You don't want to pick up the call. It could be a million dollar listing. You don't know. So number one, pick up all your calls that come in when you don't recognize the number. Two, communicate clearly with people and listen. So a lot about communicating is not just talking, but being able to strategically in your mind, when you know you have a buyer call versus a seller call, what questions you're going to methodically answer and walk somebody through so you can get all the information needed so you can make an informed kind of conversation with them and lead them down the right path. And when people think that you're listening and that you're educating them at the same time, that's a really strong phone call. And more often than not, will be a lead conversion when they call you, whether it's a Zillow, inbound lead from another platform, whatever it is, communication is everything. Number two is really follow up. Follow up's interesting because you know you, people follow up a day or two later, six hours later. But I always come to f with the philosophy is fortune is in the follow up. So when you have clients, make sure you break them down on a board in your office or on a spreadsheet, one, two, and three, so you know which ones to make sure you call back on a weekly basis, a daily basis, and a monthly basis. Because the more you follow up and the more you stay consistent with that follow up, the more you're gonna remain relevant to people looking to buy or sell, which is really important because if you don't stay in front of them, I promise you, Zillow, Trulia, Realtor.com, Homes.com, Redfin, they're gonna stay in front of them and they're gonna get the business. So make sure you follow up, stay in contact. Three, and probably should have been one, I think is probably one of the most important components to all of this is if you're starting out as a realtor, make sure you have a strong Google page business account set up. Because these days when everyone's searching for realtors, if you don't have a Google business page with relevant information on it, photos that are geotagged, you're just going to have a rough time getting recognized as a top real estate agent when you're just not relevant on the Google business page. So Make sure you spend some time on getting that fine tuned. And if you need to, it's worth the money. Go out, hire the help to build your Google business page, but get that dialed in really well. And kind of a sub category to that, which kind of follows and kind of enhances that is social media. So make sure you're relevant on social media. You're doing your posting videos once a day, whether it's a post or reel. Make sure you sit down with somebody and strategically plan out you know, what buckets you're going to be posting, what relevant content according to where we are currently in the market is going to be engaging to the public. So make sure you tie that in with the Google business page because all that will be your online presence and one will kind of help the other. So I hope that helps. If you have any specific questions on your situation, please feel free to shoot me a DM.